Hello, hello. The hag. Eros, California, strolled about his island, strumming his guitar, singing of his sexual prowess and poetic power. In his garden grew begonias, apples, blue figs, and pomegranate trees. This was his life. The moon was full. When he stopped singing to preserve his power, he slept in a grove of pomegranate trees. He imagined nothing could disturb his idyllic life. His belly was full from the orchards and gardens on his island. A potent mist shrouded the island. From this mist emerged a dreadful power, a hag, white, billowing, full of a lust for singing. This cold white witch of witches flew to the pomegranate trees, beneath which Eros California was in his sleeping dream life. With the bleached white jawbone of a poet, the hag knocked loose fruit from pomegranate trees. It landed on Eros California and brought him, groggy, to life. The hag dropped down before he came too full. Eros California's fear of this talc white witch of witches was overpowering. He screamed. She wanted to hear him sing. She dragged him into the mist and off his island. The mist scudded along just above waves full of shattered moonlight. Eros California felt weak, powerless, but the hag was full of life. She fondled Eros, California, till he bulged red and ripe as a fruit on a pomegranate tree. She cackled and cooed. More singing, my sweet throat, more singing. They came to rest on her island. All about the hag was fleshless but full. She dragged him to a cave at the center of her island. She showed him harps and bones of bards no longer singing. This, my sweet throat, is where you shall spend the rest of your life. Eros California mumbled a couplet of magical power and turned himself into a fruit from the pomegranate tree. Furious, this pale hag threw him into the sea hoping the fruit of a pomegranate tree would sink like a stone idol. A black queen, sailing among the islands, plucked out that pomegranate from its bobbing, salty life and brought it to her full lips. The power of her kiss restored Eros, California, and he lived three myths at the royal woman's side singing. Okay, it's kind of a bohemian day here in New York. I'm wearing my bohemian highway sweatshirt, hoodie. Enough about my sartorial demeanor. So, that was a sestina. It is one of a series of sestinas that are connected that are called the Flowers of Eros, California. They're somewhat uh, hallucinations, I guess you could say, but conscious hallucinations, They're an attempt to tell myths, uh, an attempt to create myths. These were written in the uh, early 1980s, These this series, and this is just one. I'm only reading the one today just to sort of whet your appetite, I hope, for more. And at some point, I intend to read the entire uh, series, which I believe is six sestinas. A sestina is an Italian form of poetry that is six stanzas with a coda at the end, and it has repeating end words. So, there you have it. I'm not going to go into it a lot more today. I do thank you for tuning in. And uh, shall I read it again?
Oh, why not? That's kind of my want, isn't it? To read these things again and again and again. What did I do with the rest of it, though? <laughs> well, well, well. Apparently, I'm not going to read it a second time. Go back and listen to it again, please, if you're so inclined. And so ends another broadcast day with the old Internet bar right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in, and tomorrow I will have a poem from the past. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all those good things. I will post this in the comments, so maybe it will attract you to go down there and comment yourself. Thank you so much.